and at a descent minus five minutes, I give the go for a power descent. You're a go to con you're a go to continue power descent. You're a go to continue power descent. The descent was very tricky business. Our plan was to start about 50,000 feet altitude, 3,000 miles per hour, to use one continuous rocket burn to decelerate to a hover in the landing area. Eagle Houston, everything's looking good here, over. Throttle up, and I get confirmed throttle up, and telemetry drops out again, and I'm back in this ground roll. Do I have enough information to continue the descent or not? Okay, all flight controllers, gonna go for landing. Retro, go, Lido, go, guys, go, control, go, Falcon, go, GNC, go, Econ, go, Surgeon, go, Capcom, we're go for landing. Houston, you're go for landing, over. And about that time, uh, we got a, a computer alarm of 1202. Uh, 1202. The computer was giving us trouble. It was a big attention getter. My first thought, oh no, we've lost it. We're not going to make it. All we had was 1202, which is kind of disconcerting. Uh, you lose information, plus you've got an alarm, and you don't really know what it is. Give us a reading on the 1202 program alarm. I was reaching for my checklist to turn to this program alarm when the guidance guy, Steve Bale, said, we're go, flight on that alarm. Gene took his word, you know, okay, we're go. He didn't ask for explanation, we're go. Roger, we got you, we're going that alarm. Now the landing radar can begin to pick up range and velocity of the ground beneath us, and it compares that with what the uh, computer thinks it ought to be, and there's a big difference. Hold on. Our position six, downrange to be a little off. Roger, 1201. Well, it's extremely serious. Is the computer breaking? Is it telling us it's not functioning right? 1201, Roger, 1201 alarm. What is the alarm telling us? We're go, same type, we're go. Same type, it was a different number, but same type. He said, same type flight, we're go. 47 degrees, Roger. The computer was so busy, and it couldn't get all the jobs done, so it was dropping off these other little jobs down on the end and not doing them, which were jobs that weren't really that critical. Just as mission control decides to ignore the computer alarms, the LEM sends another strange signal. 37 degrees. We just saw this strange trajectory that we'd never seen in training. Standard speed down three and a half, 47 forward. He went down to about 400 feet, stopped his descent, and leveled off and started flying horizontally across the moon. He didn't tell us, but out the window, what they were seeing was a big boulder field. Our computer was steering us toward football stadium-sized craters, surrounded by steep slopes and covered with very large boulders. 50 down at two and a half, 19 forward, altitude, velocity, light. Neil had the one thing we did not have. He had the out-the-window view. 15 forward. He knew whether he was over a safe place to land or over a boulder field. My job was to tell him how much fuel he had. And when it had zero, that was our best knowledge. We had zero. The fuel states were falling, and we were getting close to what was going to be an abort situation. 100 feet, three and a half down, nine forward. When we got to about 100 feet, the low-level light came on, and uh, Charlie Duke gave us a call of 60 seconds. Simple call, Eagle, 60 seconds. 60 seconds. We better get on the ground pretty soon. And he had 60 seconds to land. And after that 60 seconds, it would be a board. Down two and a half. I didn't want to disturb Neil's concentration because I knew he was really working that problem. Two and a half, picking up some dust. And now we crew is kicking up some dust. So we know they're darn close to the surface, but they were scooting pretty fast across it last time we heard. Four forward, drift into the right a little. We used most of our remaining fuel, finding a relatively level and smooth landing spot. And a half. 30 seconds. We had 30 seconds to land. I mean, it was deathly silent. Now, I don't think he was going to actually abort. I mean, that wouldn't have been the right stuff. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. HJ at a descent. I looked over at him, and, and he looked at me, 
And uh, th there was not a, a great emotion, but there was a, a, a smile of satisfaction on both of our faces. And we shook hands. We copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot.